Okay, so this is gonna be a catapult to ratcheted to climb explanation video. Cause this, I thought this was our coolest mech on our last bot and it's gonna get taken apart anyways. So I decided why not, you know, spread the knowledge, let uh, other people see how we did it and show it off a little bit. So this is the whole gearbox basically. That's what it looks like. Obviously this would be mirrored on the other side but it's coming apart and I took a bunch off so you could see it a lot easier. And so how it works is basically we have our motor shaft here and this gear and that gear are just hard mounted. So here, let me move so you can see this a little better and I'll point at things with a screwdriver. So this and that are both hard mounted onto the motor axle right here. And there's also two 12 tooths right in there and right in there. I don't know how well you can see them but those are ratchets that go along with this piece right here, which is our slip gears. And the slip gears are standoff together along with these, which are our ratchet gears. If you look on the other side of the catapult, right in there, we have our ratchets. So we've got ratchet here and here, and those just hold the catapult up like it is right now. And then, so when the motor spins, one way these ratchets engage and so because it would come this way and pull our cata pull our cata down and then so when it spins the other way though these would come up and they mesh with these 84 twos and these are ratcheted so these 84 twos slip and this cata slips this is loose on this axle and these ratchets engage the opposite direction as these so when the motor spins the other way that doesn't engage the catapult, these spin and these ratchets engage. And these ratchets are connected on the same axle as this 12 tooth right here. So this is hard mounted. This does not rotate, spin freely. This spins freely. These two spin freely. This spins freely, I already said that, but whatever, I'm just gonna say it again. But so when we would spin it the other way, these ratchets would slip and these ones would engage, which would engage the 12 tooth, which would move the arm that was mounted on it. And to keep the arm down, we use VEX hinges because these things are actually insane. So we have a standoff here that went down to this hole right there to keep it sturdy. It's all coming apart, just like this, like this on this side, just like that. And then so that would keep it stable. And so basically as this one moved down, it's really hard because, but you can hear it. This would sit right there and it would hold it down. So that'd be our ratchet. So that was our double ratcheting system. But a big con about this is that you cannot go under the bar because this would, cannot come back up once it's down. But if you have a CATA system and want a climber and don't have one this gets solid b tier and it's not super super difficult to build definitely takes a little innovation and some crunching to fit things in all these spaces but it works really well gives a solid climb and it's definitely a cool thing to talk to judges about in an interview because i know when i was explaining this to them they really liked it so yeah, that's our explanation of our Kata to Climb mech.